You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Air Jordan 7. These are the Air Jordan 7 in the black chambray colorway, but before we jump into it, we want to give a huge shout out to the good folks over at 1985 Gallery for letting us get an early look at this Jordan 7 right here. The Jordan 7, the black chambray is constructed mostly of this new buck upper. It does house the neoprene booty, which doubles as a tongue and a sock liner. It has the chambray colorway on the back, and then you have hits of gray on the front, and then you have the Jordan spell out in chambray, comes with the black flat laces, and then you have perforated holes throughout the rest of the neoprene tongue as you get closer towards the toe box. For the side panels of the shoe, you have that new buck material with perforated holes throughout. And then right here by the ankle of the shoe, you have a chambray jump man. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have a nylon pull tab in gray. And underneath that, on the back of the heel cup, you have a rubberized triangle that has the 23 logo in chambray on top of gray. On the midsole, you have more colored accents of chambray and gray on the black midsole. And then taking us to the outsole, you have those same colors with hits of white to bring it all together with the chambray jump man. What you don't see is the full air unit that's encapsulated within the midsole under the insole. The Air Jordan 7 in this black chambray colorway first released back in 2006 and hasn't released since. This is kind of the infancy of Jordan brand creating other colors on classic silhouettes, non-OG colors. Uh, even back as far as like 2002, 2001, different Jordan 1s had like the all silver ones that were coming with the briefcase. The Jordan 7s that I had maybe back in 2002 was like the, the French blues. I didn't know any better. I thought it was an original colorway until I you know, figured out later on that that was like a new color. Even with some of the nines that came out back then, like the Flint nines or the patent leather gray nines, it was just few and far between where Jordan brand would introduce new colors on classic silhouettes. Laney fives, just to name a few. People would get them because you would get your original colorways and then you would get the new colors and it wasn't overdone at the time. And here at Shusha Shot TV, we love the original colorways and it's rare that we champion a non-OG colorway, but to some, this might have been their introduction to Jordans, maybe the younger generation. This might have been their first Jordan or their first Jordan 7. It's been 17 years since they first released, so they might have been waiting for these to come back out. Out. They did just retro the Jordan 7 Citrus not too long ago. That was another colorway that came out back then. Kind of looked like a Raptor Jordan 7 with hits of orange instead of purple. I'm not surprised that a lot of people are looking forward to this because it's been a minute since they've returned. The Jordan 7 Chambray is releasing on July 15th at a price point of $200. As far as sizing goes, I always go true to size in the Jordan 7. It fits great. As far as comfort goes, the Jordan 7 is one of the most comfortable retro Jordans because it's so lightweight, has a nice sleek design to it. It's very comfortable, feels like a flight Hirachi, air flight light. Love the neoprene, great materials and a lightweight shoe and you can definitely feel that air unit in the midsole. As far as style goes, it's a classic OG silhouette. Love the Jordan 7. As far as colorway goes, the chambray reminds me of North Carolina blue, which, you know, that's Michael Jordan's alma mater, so it goes hand in hand. It's not too far-fetched for a Jordan 7 to be this colorway. And we've seen some other colors that are kind of out there, but these right here, they fit the mold. How do you guys feel about the Jordan 7 and the chambray colorway? Is this something you're looking forward to picking up? Was this one of your first Jordans back in the day? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you're in the Bay Area, make sure you stop by 1985 Gallery on July 15th so you can pick up a pair. Let's go ahead and try these on. Yeah. I never asked to be put on. No. I went and got it on my own. That's for sure, dog. Might put up on ATVs. Then hit the trail in ACGs, cause we outside. Never asked to be put on. On my own, that's for sure, dog. Might pull up on ATVs, then hit 
the trail in ACGs Cause we outside all conditions I'm outside with it I might go fishing, no I do not hold feelings I go off-road if the road missing You know that the flow different Shooting shots while all these hoes go tending I might go swimming if the girls are skinny dipping I'm not balling on them but I am not penny pinching Captain If you enjoyed this review, make sure you check out all our other reviews right here We have a bunch for you guys to go and binge watch And if you're not subscribed to the channel Please hit the subscribe button one time Drop a like so you can stay up to date when we drop more videos